Okay, let's get started. Uh, here's a quick, quick review of uh, things we've covered so far. Be very familiar with the perfect squares. Uh, these rules about duplicates in here, make sure you're checking those out. Uh, here are some of the easier um, square roots to simplify here. Remember all those rules. Um, as we get more sophisticated with variables, uh, the last couple of days, make sure you're understanding the rules of how to simplify variables and all these examples in here. Uh, hit pause if you need to kind of look at that and check that out. Um, here are some other ways to simplify radicals. Notice the square root of 8. To simplify it, because it's not simplified, we want to break it up such that the factors are uh, the perfect squares. And look for the largest perfect square. And so in this case, uh, when we did the square root of 8 last time, that could be broken down to what? That's the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And that turns into what? Well, the square root of 4 turns into 2. And then the square root of 2 just stays radical 2. Uh, here's three more examples. The square root of 12 is 4 radical 3, so that turns into 2 radical 3. Uh, square root of 20 can be broken down into 4 and 5, so that's 2 radical 5. Uh, think about the square root of 45. How can we break that down? Well, that's 9 and 5. Therefore, the simplification is 3 radical 5. And the last one over here, always, well, most people would think 4 times 8, but 4 is not the largest perfect square. In this case, it's 16, 16 times 2. Therefore, it's 4 radical 2. All right, we haven't done anything new yet. Uh, this is like a nice summary of some of the skills we've covered so far with radicals and simplifying radicals. Here's officially today's notes. The notes are very short because all we have to do is multiply and then simplify radicals. Well, here's the abstract. We have one radical and another radical, and we're going to be multiplying them together. What's the rule if they're both under the radical sign? Well, we can combine them under one radical sign. So here's some quick examples. Radical 3 times radical 5 is radical 15. And I would like to try to simplify radical 15, but radical 15 doesn't have any factors on the list. Let's do the third one down. Radical 6 times radical 5 is radical 30. And notice when I try to break down 30, none of those factors are on the list. And then let's do the one above it now. So what do we have? We have radical 2 times radical 10. That's radical 20. And think about 20. We just did it a moment ago. That's 4 times 5. So that breaks down into 2 radical 5. That's the final answer there. If you left it as radical 20, it is absolutely wrong. We don't want to do that. This is the only answer. And then this last one in here, we have radical 15 times radical 5. So when I combine that and multiply them together, I get radical 75. And then I'm going to simplify. Well, that turns into, ooh, radical 75. Well, I bet you 25 is a factor. Therefore, 25 turns into, radical 25 turns into 5. And then 25 times 3, <clears throat> that's why the leftover is radical 3. So um, what can you do in this lesson? Well, you can't do this. If something is not under the radical sign and something is, don't try combining them under the radical, and don't try just getting rid of the radical. None of those are correct. These are bad. Same thing here. If you have 4 outside of the radical and 5 outside of the radical, don't try making up your new rules. These are This is not the square root of 20, and it's not 20. Okay. Uh, these two in particular, that's it. That's the answer. Well, it's 3 radical 2. There's nothing else to simplify that. And this one, you can't simplify uh, um, any further as well. That's 4 radical 5. All right, um, so here's some good ones. Here's more good ones. We have radical 2 times radical 3, which is radical 6. If I try to simplify radical 6, well, it's done. If I have radical 6 times radical 2, that's radical 12. But radical 2, we are not done. Why? Because radical 12, we've seen a moment ago, that's radical 4 times radical 3. That turns into 2 radical 3. All right, I hope this helped, and we'll do more problems.